Welcome to Mechanoid Madness. Please subscribe. Hi. These are some building tips for people that are building this over the Christmas holidays and in the future. These are things that I learned to help make it easier. Um, number one is to take your time. Do it in stages. The only thing you really need to build this is a pair of scissors to cut the bags open. That's, that's basically it. If you have a uh, Mechanoid G15, you will need four C batteries to power it up when you're done. Um, the G15 has over 600 parts. It's going to take roughly about five to seven hours. The G15KS kit size is over 1200 parts and it's going to take a good eight to twelve hours to complete. So the best thing to do is, is just to do it in stages. Um, the way that I did it is I went to Meccano.com and watched the build videos and I did one or two videos each night. Um, I, I didn't use the booklet. I didn't really need it because the videos were that good. Uh, so it's Meccano and uh, Meccano.com and uh, they're, they're, they're how to build the uh, mechanoid and it's about though about maybe 15 videos also their videos are available on YouTube but go to Meccano you'll see some other things that will interest you something that I want to point out is each of these plates have a bolt side and uh, a nut side so make sure when you put the plates on all the plates that, that go on that you have the proper bolt and nut side alignment for them it, if, if you have them reversed it, it will still work but it won't seat as well um, separate each of the bags of bolts into three little cups this one the, the G15 came with um, three bags of bolts so what I did is I had three little cups and I put each bag of bolts in each cup and that 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 helped me that helped me to, to find the bolts that I needed it just makes the step a little easier um, make each bolt real tight hand tight as tight as you can get it because I find that if you don't do that uh, things get loose um, and, and you have to retighten it occasionally if you tighten it real good at first you don't have to come back and retighten it. I've had this about a month, and the only one that I had to retighten are the, the ones between the legs, the, the strap or the uh, the plate but that goes between the legs. Everything else has been intact, and, and I haven't had to retighten anything. Um, I will talk about this later. Uh, there are spare bolts. You you'll you'll have plenty of bolts left over when you're done. Bolts and nuts. Um, something so. Don't worry if you misplace a few or or drop them and they fall under something. You'll have some spares left over. Um, the, the bags themselves that are in here are somewhat organized. They're not totally organized, but there's like a foot bag and a head bag. And then the other bags are a combination of things. So... It, it's organized to an extent, but it's not fully organized. It's not labeled in any way either. So you just have to look at it and, and eye it up. That's why the videos are the best way to go. Um, you will need to rebuild something. I, I haven't talked to a person that has built one of these that hasn't had to rebuild an arm or uh, their leg or, or the foot or something. Because at first... You don't get everything right, so you have to redo it. I had to rebuild one of the arms, um, and uh, it didn't take long. Once you get, once you start building it, you start to get the hang of it, and it becomes easier. But you may reverse something here and there, so make sure uh, that you try to do it right the first time. And you may not have to rebuild anything. As far as, as far as wiring goes, um, let's see. So the servo wiring are the two servos that are here in the elbow and in the shoulder. The elbow uh, goes to the shoulder, so the servo wires, the long one goes to the uh, uh, shoulder, and then the shoulder comes down into number one. This one, the elbow goes into the shoulder, 
and then the shoulder comes down into number three. The eyes, or the, yeah, the eyes themselves come down into number two. The, uh, the feet are color coded. The uh, left foot is yellow and it looks like orange and that's the left and then the right foot is black and brown make sure you get them right you can't reverse these so don't worry about like forcing them in they're 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 keyed in such a way that you can't reverse them but the thing is to make sure you get these feet right because if you get the feet wrong it's going to go the opposite of what it's supposed to do um we talked about the uh, the foot motors the G15 upgraded battery is, is probably the way to go because the, the C-cell batteries I find only last a few hours when you start using it. Uh, when you finish the build, update the mechanoid brain to the latest firmware. There's a cable that they give you that, plug, that allows you to plug the brain itself into the USB port on your computer and that will allow you to upgrade the brain firmware. Also, something that is helpful is once you build the, the chest area, the, the central area, you can switch this to drone mode. There's two modes here. One is uh, drone mode and one is robot mode. If you switch it to drone mode, it won't come up with errors and you'll be able to play with it while you're building it. And that's nice because once you build the chest, you still have to build the hands, the foot, and, and so forth. Um, if you have it powered up, you can do some voice recognition and those kind of things with it which are, are helpful because you're spending all that time building it it's nice to interact with this thing because it has a pretty good voice recognition um, the commands that it has are basically three sets it has a main menu and it has two sub menus under that the the main menu the command that probably you'll lose use the most will be list commands that will list all the commands under that menu and the one that is the best is of course probably tell me a joke it has about maybe 15 to 20 jokes that it randomly says and they're they're cute they're cute they're cute jokes um the sub menus are motion control where you can get it to dance and kung fu and move left and move right and shake hands and high fives and those kind of things um and also the settings where you can go in and set the date and time and um, the different things with the settings. Once you get into those sub menus, just say list commands and it will tell you the set of commands that are in the main menu and those two sub menus that I mentioned. Uh, the the, the uh, LIM mode, learn, uh, learn in, in Intel Motion, uh, is very good. The app needs work. But the LIM mode is very good. Um, that's probably the easiest way to program it is to, is to move it and to uh, mimic your voice, mimic your movement, and then to play that back. Um, it says that it will store about maybe 15 LIMs. I've, I've only been able to store 10 in this, and then it comes back with memory full, and I can't do it. I can't do any more until I erase something. Uh, the app. Can hold unlimited ragdolls. The app is is on your phone, so it's really dependent on your phone memory, which you can put gigabytes in there and have multiple ragdolls. And I think there's even a way to take your LIMs, put them in ragdoll mode, and then save them. That way, you can save your LIMs and don't have to uh, take them out of memory to free up space to put new things into it. Um, the the motion control is is a gimmick right now. I mean, it, it works, but it, it only really mimics your hands for the G15. The, the G15KS mimics your hands and your head, but it only does it in a two-dimensional uh, format. It can only go up or down. Uh, the, the head can only twist. Um, it doesn't do... Uh, uh, it, 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 the app needs some work. Let's just put it that way. Um, if, if you want to learn more about the app, I have a separate video that I'm working on. I should have it up in a couple weeks that will explain more in detail about the apps and how you need to layer things that you're doing uh, with the app. Um, if you'd like to take a look at some neat LIM mode applications, 
take a look at McDonald's comedy. That's the that's one that I did that that I had fun with. Um, it has really really good voice recognition. Uh, just speak slowly and clearly, and the voice recognition will be good. Um, if if you have a child, just make sure that they do it sl uh, slowly and clearly, and he'll be able to recognize the, your voice. The robot has a lot of potential. Meccano, which is owned by Spin Master, can upgrade the brain, can upgrade the app, of course, and uh, because of those two things, it has, has enormous potential. I mean, down the road, you can just switch out the brain to something newer and put it in, and plus, if you notice, there's eight ports here for eight different things, so that they, they have expansion capability where they, they may have a hand mechanism coming, and they may have other servos available for other things, and there may be different things for the legs to mimic human uh, motion as far as walking. I, I don't know what they have planned, but I do know that they have eight ports here, and the eight ports can, can be a combination of servos and, and other things for the device. Uh, it's kind of like a pet you can turn off <laughs> and turn on but the nice thing about this is that you don't have to feed it and you don't have to clean up after it you just turn it on play with it turn it off um, I hope this helps if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and thanks for watching